Okay, so we had to go home for a couple of days so I could work. I went to actual work at Port Huron Hospital and Brad's taken time off from pipe fitting. Uh, he's getting work done on um, permits and that for home. That is a, a gigantic job, which someday I hope we'll maybe outline that on a video or something. Not that I really want to remember that, but it's just to remember how far we came and how much work. But anyways, um, we used to have some cabinets here. And last time we were here, we took those home. We've had them for years here. Uh, but they sat out further and didn't hold as much. And my DVD collection is like out of control. I've had an addiction to it for years. Anybody that knows me knows that. So I brought all the ones from home up here and... Uh, had a whole bunch here and we brought bookshelves up here so the cabinets that were here went to Trent and Avery's and they look great there um and I'm pretty happy with these all of my DVDs gotta show there's and my picture of my Tori that was an accidental picture love it uh but yeah that looks good so I did that this morning here and then took the dogs for a walk. There's another great picture. Brad and his brother Mike holding the Stanley Cup. Uh, and uh, another great picture. Mr. Ed Spencer. That's Spencer's dad. Um, very important person to Brad that just passed. So we liked it. <laughs> and he, he looks so full of life right there. I love it. Um, so... I got that done today so maybe I'll find some pictures of I wish I would have taken some before uh, of the cabinets that were here but I know I've got a million pictures I'll try to insert those and then I went outside I took the dogs for a walk around the lake of course that's an hour and a half that burns us out and today I am going to transplant the arborvitaes that we're doing nothing out in the yard okay okay so here's some of the old pictures you can't see in the back very good but the bookshelves are not there uh but i love looking at these old pictures anyway so here's some old pictures of our family christmas without the bookshelves the cabinets are still there okay here's brad <laughs> and brad is emailing about permits and conservation and stuff at home engineers engineering today so arborvitaes there was uh one arborvitae at this uh, electrical pole here that was doing nothing and i know i've shown it in other videos there were three that were between this bush i thought there were two over there it turned out there were three uh these ones that are at the entrance they seem to be doing pretty good because bigfoot is on guard and the deer don't eat them so i thought you know what i'm gonna pull them all out and transplant them by bigfoot uh, last time we were up here, I planted, uh, three trees behind Bigfoot, make him look more natural, like he's walking through the woods and they're hanging in there. There was some rain that happened while we were gone for a few days. And here's the arborvitaes that I pulled out so they can kind of cover up. I don't know. They're not going to get big enough to cover up, but uh, it's my attempt anyway with this propane tank here. Um, they don't get a huge amount of sun here, but they didn't over in the other spot either. So I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, they seem healthy. They're just not growing huge. And that's okay with me. Um, of course, some of them had been run over by the electrical company with their truck. Um, so they're a little wonky. So we'll uh, see what happens with them. Uh, everything else seems to be doing pretty good. These trees here, there's two trees right here, I think are going to have to come down and that'll put a lot more uh, sun in this area. This one had a, a trunk that came out this way and it is totally rotten. I tried to clean it up some, but it's kind of scary how rotten that is. And then there's a tree over here. And before the pandemic, this hole in it, I thought, I've been doing fairy gardens and stuff. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just put a piece of metal there. We'll put it over top, see if it protects from water going in there. And uh, looks kind of cute. I had some other fairy garden stuff with it. But two years later, it is just full of like wet muck inside there. So, and it's, it's deep. So look how tall these trees are. 
There are some big trees. And there's our house. It's like right there. And the garage is right here too. So I see these trees coming down. Um, so maybe that'll give us more uh, sun for our arborvitaes. Certainly give more sun for this garden here. Um, and it seems to be doing better already with that other tree gone. So I hate losing trees. We'll try to plant as many as we can. So I'm going to get back to work. Turned out to be a good little job to do, a little bit of a workout. And uh, I'm all watered in now. Don't know if they're going to cover up this ugly propane tank of the neighbors. It's nice they put a fence on the other side so they don't have to look at it. Uh, but, oh well. Um, you know, they're, they're nice and green and healthy. They just... They're just delicious, and the deer have been eating them over there. So, um, I don't know how straight I, I don't know how straight I got them. Let's see how straight did I get them. Yeah, not too bad. Good enough. I go by eye. Yeah. So, uh, but they're good enough for, good enough for the cottage. The other trees that we planted there, they're showing a little bit of stress. Um. A little bit of brown, but I thought I was going home to work for two days and um, Brad um, got tangled up in some permit stuff. It took longer. Maybe we shouldn't have left it all. There's so much to do with that, but um, yeah, I think it looks great. Yeah. Looks like Bigfoot's got followers. All right, well, I've been doing this. Brad is still working away on the soffit and eaves. He got that side done. He's got, he's doing this side. Well, wow, it looks a lot better. Freshening up this poor old building. Look at all the woodpecker holes. They're awful. I hope when I get aluminum siding that these woodpecker holes, they're not going to come back. And look at them. Look at them all. They do a lot of damage up here, these woodpeckers. So, this little guy here that we transplanted before I went home, it's probably stressed the most. Everything else looks, looks pretty good, but I'll give it some TLC. The uh, frozen margarita pasta looks cute as can be there. Um, and the Hens and chickens are blooming. Yeah, next to the blue elf 
sedum, I remember this time, and chocolate kiss hens and chicken. And there's Brad working away. We're trying to get as much done here as we can before the boys get here. Our boys, Trent, our son, and Nathan, our son, soon to be son in law, Tori and him got engaged, are coming up, and uh, I think they're bringing a friend, Liam, maybe. And we are going to work on metal roof. Get the moss up there. So tomorrow we're going to work on strapping. I get to garden today while he's doing this. Is it e what do you call it? Soffit and fascia. There you go. Thank you. Soffit and fascia. Okay, so let's look from here. I want to see from a distance as you're coming in, you know. I think it looks cute. To me, it distracts the eye a bit from the propane tank. Um, and that's great. Let's see. All right, I'll just have to baby them for a while. Okay, look at the layer out here helping me garden, aren't you guys? I think there's a dog barking somewhere. It's been barking for a while. I don't know what it's saying. But um, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, Brad's still got work to do here. He's got this end to do. Um, I should do this far garden over here. I keep saying I'm going to do it and I haven't got to it yet. Uh, but I want to transplant. I got the arborvitaes out. But uh, these ewes, they have been here for years and done nothing. Um, so I'd like to transplant them first because um, transplanting this stuff and having the more days to water it, the better. Like, I mean, they've been here for as long as those big trees have been that I planted in those evergreens and they're doing nothing so I'm thinking well if they want to stay small I'm just gonna put them in this these two gardens one in each garden I think it'll look look nice fill it out uh, so that's what I'm gonna do but I gotta get a cup of tea first I got got the kettle on and it is just beautiful here today <laughs> the dogs barking in the background I got Bigfoot, he's on guard, and Wicket and Princess Leia, and Brad's doing his thing. He got stung by a bee earlier today. I gave him a bottle, had a blue gin bottle that I thought looked pretty on our tree, and I said, hey, will you put this on the tree? He got stung uh, by the same nest that I got stung last week, so it's gone. <laughs> hate doing that, but you know, that's uh, too many strikes. I got stung twice, he got stung twice. We're done. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see how far I get here. I'm, I'll start with transplanting and then weeding. Okay, I dug up those ewes from here and I've set them in place. There's one there and one in there. I know this garden isn't cleaned up. You'll see it better when it's cleaned up, but I'm just not sure I'm loving it. So, Tried some other spots and I will show you. All right, another spot I can put them is maybe along this stairway. Looks nicer there than a little while ago when I put it there. Brad's still working. Um, I got one more spot and this is the spot I'm thinking of. Okay, gosh, it's getting sunny. I decided to put them in this garden here. I'll uh, have to kill some grass and spread the garden back a little further but I just like the structure of the this garden there's that little not I forget what that thing is called juniper of some kind Hogan juniper Hoger's juniper here um, and then uh, I'll put those there yeah I like it I liked it from like a distance let's see of course I got my stuff in the way there, sorry. Just thought, none of the perennials are growing that great, so I thought it was good to have the two evergreens here and then the one little one on the end. So that's what I decided. Don't know whether it's right or wrong. 
kind of liked it over there by the stairs too. I really liked it over there by the deck, but I was worried it wouldn't take the snow very good. And uh, decided against out there. I guess it would have been good in all the spots, but I think they'll like the sun in this area. So I'm gonna make it happen. I want to turn the tap on to water in the ewes and I was just noticing the, the sun on these arborvitaes. I was worried they wouldn't get sun, but they're getting it. So, hope they'll be happy there and do well. Look at that strip of sun there. Woohoo! Makes me happy. Okay, I think we're done for the day. Brad's done all the roofing he wants to do, whatever the hell you want to call that. I planted, transplanted the arborvitaes. I did the ewes over there. I am covered in dirt. Um, there is something about the dirt and an being an antidepressant because I feel good. I'm tired, but I'm happy. So I went in the woods and I found an oak tree. So look at this gigantic hole here where that big tree went down. So I thought maybe another tree. I know it's going to take a long time for it to grow, but I like this spot. So I put an oak tree there. And then I, um, where I took the ewes out. I planted a couple more evergreens. Still haven't weeded this garden. Someday I'll get to it. I just, it the uh, so I planted a couple couple of these evergreens here, which they grow fast here, and and fill in really good because these ones here that I've planted they haven't been here that long, like eight years maybe not even and they were just little things like this and I put uh, one little maple tree here too so we'll see how that grows I like to all along here just keep planting and fill it in is I like I like this except this crooked one that's just like those other ones over there the tall ones I don't know what they are but it was one tree and for some reason, it's like two chunks there. One goes up straight, and the other one is really kinked. I have no idea why it is doing that. It's kind of weird looking. But this garden, or this corner has filled right in, so I wanted the fire pit to be a little bit more private. I don't know what these shrubs are that are growing. But they've kind of filled themselves in and then um now that we've we planted some of these evergreens they've started seeding themselves i guess like i didn't plant this one there's a bunch here that i didn't plant um but i planted this one another wonky one i think it's just reaching for the sun but this one seems to get lots of sun. I don't understand it. Whatever. See, there's more here that have started growing themselves. Oh, that one seeded itself there and then died. I don't know. I missed the lady slippers this year. There's, there's one there. So it had bloomed. And this is blueberries. Maybe I've shown it before on videos. I didn't realize we had blueberries here before, but there's blueberries everywhere. So, I'll stand back so you can feel like it used to be when you were in this corner, it felt like you were like on stage with the road going all the way around you. And now it's all, all grown in so nice and it feels private. I love the road, I love the traffic. We, I mean, the only thing that comes along here are dirt bikes and uh, side by sides and stuff like that. So it's always fun to see who's driving by But I just want to feel like I'm in a cabin in the woods, right? So I got to plant my own woods. So there's that Maple tree Of course, here's a maple tree here. It was small when we moved in and it's well, maybe doubled in size in 15 years and then right there is the one evergreen and then over there, right behind the maple tree, I don't know, it's hard to see, 
is the other one. So hopefully they'll bush out and be be full just like just like that one there. Okay. All right. Well, that's a wrap for today, okay? Maybe you can take me for a ride or something. So at least get around the lake. We walked around the lake this morning, Wicket and Leah and I, and uh, other people are doing lots of work at their houses. I always find that fun to look at. So, all right, let's go for a ride. All right, off for go kart ride. I know we're, we're filthy. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> what do you guys think? Huh? Ready for a ride? Nice. I'm gonna go home and cook some dinner. Ooh, they're seeing the dog. Uh-oh. They love this. Hi. Where's Leilu? There she is. <laughs> they didn't used to love it though. They used to be like terrified and now they can't wait. Give them a good walk in there. <laughs> 